What's up guys, Iceface here, and today we're playing Valor Legends once again. So in today's video, guys, we're actually going to be talking about the Phantasm and how they actually work. So what I want to explain to you guys first of all, there's a key point here that was put on the Discord as well, is that the corresponding hero is not included with this purchase. So if I go ahead and purchase the Ramiel Phantasm, you're, go, you're not going to get Ramiel, right? You're just going to get this... I like to call them skin. You're going to get the skin, right? So we've got the Phantasm school, uh, store. So we've got all the different heroes that you can actually obtain. All the skins. So I'm going to call them skins to make it easier. And you lot might be able to understand that a bit more. So you can see that I can actually purchase it and gift it to people. Or I can go ahead and purchase it for myself. Now what I'd like to explain guys is that. You need to buy all three to get. Well. Two pallets. So you've got the first one. You get the skin. And then you've got to buy the two corresponding ones. right? And this will give you the block. But this goes to all warriors. So these buffs are going to be applied. To all warrior type heroes. So to understand what I'm talking about here, if we go ahead, so we got the Cardolan, you know, we've got the Phantasm. Go ahead, you've got to get all of them. And this would apply to Lionel as well. So what I'm talking about here is, is that, so we get the 1.5% HP to Cardolan. Then on the, one, on the next pallet, we get 1.5% defense on all undeads. And then on the two one, we get all warriors gaining plus 0.4% block. So Codling's going to actually benefit from all of these stats. So he's going to get the 1.5% defense, 1.5% HP, and the 0.4% block. Which is actually pretty good, you know. Like, that is some good buffs. Is They are expensive buffs, so, like, I want to try explain that the buffs on this are quite expensive like you know to get that you got the 44.99 one and we're gonna have to get that a couple times so we're talking 150 200 but the main ones like this one here for Celia, it's actually really really good but these only apply to Celia, right so we're gaining the 1.5 percent attack 2 percent crit 1.5 so we're gaining 3.5 percent crit and 1.5% attack overall. Of course the skin. Is a very very. Interesting skin to say the least. Um, we're going to go through each one. And. Honest opinion. Uh, I mean it is cool. Like this is cool. But. I'm quite content with. How Celia actually looks base. Um, I, will impale your I mean. Sing before the silent lament. So these sing two. Before the silent okay, they don't. Sing but I'm presuming that these lament. phantasms are going to be coming out sing for more and more heroes as time goes on. And you're going to see the big, like, lament. VIP 16 plus is probably obtaining them. Um, in terms of like ranking it as a new player, I don't think it's too important to get them early on. Um, you're not going to gain too much benefit. Like this one here, though, like that 2.5% leech and attack speed, that's actually really, really nice. Like the crit on Celia is amazing, right? But this giving the leech ability could actually be really useful. Early game as well, if you because Ramiel should be one of the first lights you go for. Like a hundred percent, there's no brainer. He should be one of the first, and you're gaining the leech by doing that. So that's going to cost you a pretty penny. Um, so like two hundred and forty two fifty. It's quite expensive, but there's some here that are like, you know, we got Rene. This is giving you plus 0.8% crit to all rangers. So, like, this is actually really, really nice because it means all of your rangers are going to benefit from this. And there's multiple different variants. It's actually pretty cool. This one I like. Um, it does... 
kind of change up the whole situation. So like this one's like, uh, you know, you guys know the hero Michaela. Sort of the same, similar vibe to that. With like the musicy, dancey, techno-y vibe. But these skins are actually pretty nice. I do like these ones. I'm not sure about what she's wearing, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, we ain't going to talk about that too much, but. So yeah, that one's giving the crit to the rangers. And this one's giving attack speed to all assassins. I know it's only 0.2%, but I quite like this skin, you know. I like that one. That's my favorite one. Yeah, the blue one. That deep blue vibe. All the matrixy numbers. Yeah, this is quite cool. The bonuses on this one are actually quite nice as well. So all forest are gaining accuracy. And then all assassins are gaining attack speed. That's quite nice. But again, like these stats... Um, I don't believe they're as beneficial as runes. So this... This shouldn't be on your... Priority list. The phantasms. They're really, really nice guys, right? But I think they're more of a... Should we say a, like a late game ish purchase like mid to late game purchase D depending on your level of spend as well like if you're a heavy spender you're already going to have the runes you're already going to have the tech like all of that stuff's going to already be pumped out then you can start buying these but i wouldn't start the game and think i've got to start buying these you know like you've got to start from the basics which we've done many many videos on like many videos and if you're wondering about them packs while we're here so we're just claiming these while we're here. So on the monthly specials, guys, there is a pack that is going to give you random red runes. I believe that red runes are more important than these phantasms. Because these give you mega, mega stats. Like You can get huge statistics from this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. One quote right there. Let me come to the forge, so. You see what I mean? Like, for that 150, you're going to be getting 0. Point, what was it? 0.2% attack speed. I'm getting 4.8% attack speed on this one already. <laughs> Bonus rage, 9%. Bonus rage received, 15%. Damage enhancement, skill damage up. Like, these are huge stats. Even on the orange runes, it's like, you know, the crit, the damage reduction, like... Defense, healing effect, defense, leech. This is making Olivia super, super tanky. Like some of these runes give you higher beneficial stats than the phantasms, but the phantasms are what, what I'd like to call across the board stats. So by that I mean the actual the actual buff that you're obtaining on some of them is shared. So like this buff is being applied to more than just this hero. So it's going multiple ways across multiple heroes, giving them exclusive benefits to all warriors. So the standout thing I'm trying to say is that these buffs are really, really nice, but they're super expensive for what you're actually getting. Like you've got to talk in terms of value. Um, if you've got two super spenders fighting each other, you're going to want them bonus stats, right? But if you're more of a low to mid spender, getting the runes is definitely more beneficial and playing in events. That's my understanding anyway. I'd like to know your guys' opinions on it. But for me, like these stats are really, really nice. They're nice stats, but they're not... Like the money you're paying, I'm not sure it's value for money per se. It's more of like a... If you're a super whale, super spender, you're going to want these stats, right? Like, you want more and more stats. So, that being said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope you have learned a little bit about the Phantasms, the store, um, understanding how these buffs work. you just got to basically read what it's telling you, so you're paying. You're paying... The, I, I think the good thing about it is you're getting what you pay for, whereas the runes and all is a bit RNG-based, whereas with this, you know what you're getting... And you're paying X amount for it. But yeah, like I said, guys, that being said, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, guys. We have the free-to-play video coming up today as well. 
where we did just unlock Olivia, so be sure to check that one out. It is under the playlist of the free-to-play series.